how to remove painful muscle knots from the shoulders. Let's start with the anatomy. Here we've got the occiput, the base of the skull, leading down to the neck and the upper thorax in blue here. And for the placement of the ball, you'll want to be between the spine, the blue portion, and the shoulder blades. That's where you'll find most of the trigger points, and that's where the ball is going to be placed. You need to get the shoulder blade out of the way. You'll notice I rolled my arm forward so the ball placement's easy. You can do this by giving your body a hug, just like that. That moves the shoulder blade nicely out of the way to uncover those knots that are hiding underneath the bone. Really pull it out of the way, moving the shoulder blade away. You might like to start with a tennis ball. I find this works really well. Here you'll see I'm going to move up and down and back and forth. When you're going up and down, the feet do need to be slightly away from the wall, so you can, of course, bend your knees up and down. And you can also move back and forth from the shoulder blade to the spine to look for those trigger points. Then I'm staying still when I do find the trigger point. You can start with a kind of a movement all around, circles up and down, back and forth, to massage and warm up the muscles. And then eventually you want to stay put when you find the most painful point and stay right on it until it melts away, right down to a zero or one out of ten for pain. Use the harder ball for more specific accuracy on those tough to reach points, the really painful knots. This works really well but it takes a little bit of practice so the ball doesn't slip out. And stay put when you find the trigger point. I'm not pushing into the ball, I'm just leaning into it. If you're still finding it tough to get at those points, do what I'm doing here, lying on the floor. You still need that arm out of the way. Once you locate a point after a bit of a wiggle, you'll simply hold on the point and let the trigger point melt. The nice thing about doing it on the floor is you can get right up to the top at the base of the neck, which is a little tough when you're using the wall. And again, I rock back and forth looking for the trigger point, the tender point. When I find it, I simply stay still. I'm not pushing down onto the ball, I'm just leaning my weight. Again, you might like to be a little more specific. A couple of the knots are really tricky to get at, and the small rubber ball works really well for that. Not only that, but you can get right up to the very top, right at the base of the neck. This is such a great little exercise. I hope you find it useful to melt away those knots.